go around and release anywhere around the edge where there's um, these little straps. There's, there's hooks on the bottom to strap this down. Um, and you'll see here, it's just got a little spot here. Wherever you see these grommets, right underneath there's uh, a hook to hook, hook it to. Just holds it down in the wind. And they go all the way around, but I don't think any of them are on there. Um, this guy here, I was told to never, don't pull it tight. Don't pull it tight like that. Just make it so it goes over the edge. And that seems to keep it from wearing a hole in it. Okay. Uh, oh, good idea. <laughs> you young people are so smart. <laughs> I didn't know who you were right first. Oh, sorry. You were <laughs> um, and now this part, Push it up, pop it into place. And so then once it's once it doesn't have that support, it can support its own weight, uh -huh. but it can't <laughs> it can't support any other weight. Okay. Any, any more than this and it. You got your uh, thing Oh right, right. I gotta get in there and take those guys. So then I'll do that around the whole thing and then we'll go inside. Okay. Now, when you stored this, did you have it out in the open or did you have a tarp over it? We had it under one of those little, like like the way the boat is yeah. over there, um, but that got torn down with the okay. storm, okay. the ice storm. Right now. But I, I have had it out all winter long before yeah. without any cover and it does just fine. Okay, cool. Come on in. So these guys just push this little button here. And then I just I just leave it flat. Okay. This you'll want to fold up for when it's traveling. Do you want me to push the end bars in, babe? Huh? Do you want me to push the end bars in? Please? No, not yet. It's been a season since I've used this actually it's been two seasons since I've used it well season and a half yeah you guys have the r-pod now yeah, yeah. those are That's so true. nice it's so much we're just getting too old yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to and have just, to work so hard yeah do they have a shower in them even though they do oh, yeah nice. we're either back. getting too yeah. old or we're getting too lazy one of the two. pampered <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> I really wanted something like that at first, um, but like after buying the new house, there's no way we can afford exactly. it right now. Yeah, we got that one used for just as and it, their, the dog that they used to go camp with yeah. one time died and they just couldn't see, oh. going, it, just too many memories with the dog. And That's that. sad. So. <laughs> okay, babe. Yeah, push him in. Go ahead and push him in. So it's just like I just the metal bar just sits right up here and it folds flat down. So I just literally like okay. push it. And we can do it on the, again on okay. the other end. So you can see. <laughs> I'm gonna do the other end so she can just see from the outside. Then. So I just grab here. Okay. So Carmen, if I can show you something, this is the one spot you're gonna want to watch when you guys are doing this. Because the weight of this table was sitting on it when I took the thing off, yeah. the braces off, this little guy popped out of this little track. So I'm gonna have to go over there and pull up and push down here and just make sure it pops okay. into the track. Okay. It, it it doesn't hurt anything. The, 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 the track system is surprisingly strong, um, but it literally can't have any weight on it when it when it doesn't have supports. Okay. When it has supports, it holds like a thousand pounds. Babe, Yeah. see how it tilted down? Uh -huh. 
I need you to help me guide it into the rail from here. Okay. Let's see how it pops up. I'm gonna have to get it to guide it back into the rail. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna lift it and we're gonna get it in the rail and then I'll push it in. See once it's in its in its rail, it slides into place pretty easy. Okay. I just like to make sure. Uh, one of the horror stories I heard from people who owned these in the past is that they end up shutting the canvas down into things and then it gets torn. Oh, okay. Keeping the canvas from getting torn is the is the number one precautionary thing after that. After the thing there. Okay. You guys took really good care of this. We loved it. I mean, we it was. It so much. I tent camped. I used to backpack camp and, yeah. you know, really rough it. And I didn't. This was something <laughs> nice. <laughs> I went to hotels with no room service. Mm. So this is a good option. Yeah. yeah. You can slide these underneath like this if you want to. Okay. Um, the, little, the little table legs like to flop down. So you got to kind of reach under here and make sure the table legs stay up. Or if you have stuff you want to store under here when you're taking it somewhere, mm -hmm. it, can, it can sit right on the, the it can be a bed okay. and it can sit right on top of the table if you want to use it like that. Okay. And we had some extra cushions that we would um, put on top of the bed just to make them a little softer. Yeah. And it can accommodate like probably four or five inches of additional um, height in there. So if you uh -huh. wanted to have cushions in there all the time, it, it will still close with okay. it. So, so once you pull, options. once you unlatch that little guy, the whole thing hinges forward. Uh -huh. And then I always get nervous about the hinges giving away yeah. because it's a lot of weight for those little hinges. So I just stay with it. It's a nice view. <laughs> I just looked down. I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> Babe, will you pull this bed out just a little bit? Yep. Thank you. And then it just sets right down okay. on top of that bar. Very cool. And that's all. All for the way. Okay. You got ink on your arm. Yeah. What you got? Oh, cool. Pretty. Mandala. Mandala? Work. Mandala? Yeah. Okay, that's all that. Okay. And then I have to put this guy in. The door? Oh, I should have put the. Huh. I'm doing things so backwards because it's been so long. Can you pull this back out, babe? Yeah. Don't pull up, just pull straight out. And this is where you make a mistake because you do something in the wrong order and then you go back and then that was exactly what I did and then I put my weight on the outside. Oh, okay. Man. So this little guy, um, there's Velcro here, kind of create like a storm flap. Okay. And then I just reach underneath that little tear out spot so I don't tear it out anymore and just flip that guy out. That's just the rubber gasket. That little rubber gasket pulls away. Okay. And it seems like that wouldn't be enough to keep rain out, but I'm telling you, I've had it in bad weather and never had any leak. That's all there is. Honey, I'm going to give you the bottom of this. Okay. 
push it towards me and lift. This looks like it'd be difficult for one person to do. It, I, I, I got to where I could do it pretty easily, uh, but it, it, when I was doing it regularly, uh -huh. too, when you when you forget a bunch of stuff, then mm -hmm. it's harder. But okay. it's not it's not that bad when you're doing it by yourself if you're real familiar with it. It's amazing how they have come up with all of these ways for things to fold down and be yeah. so flat and compact. I've never been in one of these or seen one of these go up, so this is really They're cool. Incredible engineering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really is pretty And clever. the whole ability to haul so much stuff on top of it, I yeah. mean, like it. This guy doesn't stay open on its own. So I have this little thing here. Just, I mean, if that's unsightly to you guys, you guys can tear it off of oh, obviously. Fine. But it was just nice to, <laughs> it was just nice to keep it in place. Yeah. So I just had to lift up a little bit on that mm -hmm. to line it up because it's just a pin that goes through. Okay. And there's your key. Thank you. And then this guy down here Where are you? has this silly little pin that can pop out. Okay. You can pop that out and put it there in case everything were to collapse. Mm -hmm. This would unwind and stop right here. Okay. It, I've never had it do that, so I've never really used this part of it. But it's there as a safety thing if you want okay. unwind it about halfway and then go around and tuck all the stuff back in. Okay. And then the babies become 21 year olds. <laughs> oh, they grow so fast. He's almost a year and a half. I have, I have a little one that just turned 13. Yeah. And uh, I get to look at her little one that just turned 21 and think, <laughs> oh, God, no. Just push everything into the middle. Okay. And then I'll have her, like, keep an eye on it as I'm cranking it down the rest of the way to make sure nothing pouches out. Okay. Babe, yeah. I'm going down the rest of the way. Securing the perimeter. Securing the perimeter. <laughs> Really, the key that you don't want, like the canvas to catch, like, and be sort of caught outside because that's when it'll crease and. Okay. Um, All good? Nope, just left it. Turn the back. Okay, don't I just keep this in a little bag. This one? Yep. Um, and that little bag. I'll need this. I'm going to hold on to that hose. Okay. And my extra plug here. You guys can have this bag if you want it. Thank you. Um, I think if there's anything over here. And then you just hook these down. So they just lengthen or shorten depending on if you have extra cushions in there. Okay. It it a little taller. But you want to make sure that it's got a good seal. So Comes up. Cool. Comes down. And that's the last step. I. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, she's doing it with her elbow. Yeah. Put your weight on there and get it. Okay. And this is just one of those little turnbuckle styles. So if you turn this, you can adjust it for how tight you want it to be. It has always made me nervous that um, when you buckle it down, mm -hmm. it feels like it's pulling away here. I've never had a leak there. I've never I've never had any issue there. Okay. But I don't, it has always made me nervous. But you only want to have enough tension to 